The heavily guarded prisons bus arrived at the high court premises in Kampala at about 7.45 a.m., almost two hours before the scheduled time for the court to convene at 9 a.m. The 13 terrorism suspects accused of conducting July 2010 terror attacks on Chadon rugby grounds in Ethiopian village in Kabalagala, Kampala, were to know their fate. Presiding Judge Alfonso Winidolo walked into the courtroom at about 11 a.m. and began reading his 118-page judgment. All this while the suspects anxiously waited for the verdict that has come almost six years after they were charged. The judge first shot down the charge of belonging to the Al-Shabaab terrorist organization, which had been preferred against the accused. He said at the time of the Kampala bombings on 10th July 2010, Al-Shabaab was not listed in the Anti-Terrorism Act as a terrorist organization. Issa Lima was the first in the dock. He confessed to masterminding the Kampala bombings. He was found guilty of terrorism, murder, and attempted murder. The others convicted are Haruna Luima, Hassan Hussein Agade, Idris Mugondu, Habib Njoroge from Kenya, Muhammad Ali, and Sulaiman Nijal Nyamandondo, a Tanzanian who was found to have transported the explosives from Tanzania to Uganda. The critical evidence the state had used against them was the incriminating phone calls they made. Some were got with SIM cards used in the phone that was found with an exploded suicide jacket in Makinde. They have been indicted. I have accordingly convicted them for each of the counts of terrorism, murder, and attempted murder. I also find Muzaffar to be is number 13. The seven convicts are also guilty of committing murder and attempted murder. On the count of attempted murder, Justice Owinyudolo gave an example that if a person gets an AK-47 and aims at the president's car, even if it's bulletproof, and it just gets a scratch that tantamounts to attempted murder. He therefore ruled that all the convicts who were involved in the transportation of the explosive materials at Chadondo, Ethiopian village and Makinde are guilty of attempted murder. One suspect, Muzaffar Luima, was found guilty of aiding in abating terrorism or being an accessory to terrorism. But Justice Owindolo said the prosecution failed to adduce evidence to prove the guilt of five suspects. Dr. Ismail Kalule was accused of aiding one of the suspects by paying money for his bail. The suspect was found in possession of two passports, and that is not an offense in the Anti-Terrorism Act. The judge said this did not mean that he planned or aided the act of terrorism. The others set free are Abakal Batemieto, Omar Awada Omar, Hayyam Buthia, and Muhammad Ali Muhammad. But Justice Winyo Dolo said even though these suspects are free, they could be arrested for other lawful reasons. That did not stop them from rejoicing. <laughs> Spokesperson of the Directorate of Public Prosecutions, Jen Kajuga, cautiously welcomed the verdict, while the lead defense lawyer, Caleb Alaka, said he would await further instructions from the convicts. You cannot be admitted to any prison facility. So I do not know where the prison's bus is going to leave these five accused persons who have been convicted and set free. Do you think there might be a way for the government to hold on to them longer? I don't want to speculate because if they do that, it will be unconstitutional. Very well reasoned. Uh, the fact that the judge took apart each accused person and looked at their participation, uh, we think the case was very well analyzed. The 13 suspects were taken back to Luzira prisons awaiting sentencing on Friday. The offense of murder and terrorism attract maximum sentence of death. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.